Well, I definitely have more peace of mind knowing that I have added a few extra security measures to my van. conversion series. Um, this one is a little bit different. Uh, this is actually all about keeping the van secure. Um, I have obviously spent a lot of time and a fair bit of money doing up my van and it's my home on wheels. It's going to have all my stuff in it. So I really want to make sure that the van is secure. It obviously comes with its own like lock system. Um, but I think it's important to add some extra safety measures on there. Um, so yeah, this is gonna take you through what I'm adding to make sure that my van is extra secure. We specialize in fitting extra security to vans. Most of our work is for tradespeople. Um, basically making sure that their tools don't get stolen. We do a lot of work for, for one man vans, right the way up to um, bigger fleets. We Theft from vehicles is a massive problem, theft from and theft of vehicles. So uh, what we do is basically identify the weaknesses in each of the vans and then fit products to stop them being weaknesses. Every van is different and every van has its own weaknesses and it's important to make sure that when you have equipment fitted that it's the right fit for those vans. So for example, um, you've got a Sprinter. What you'd fit to a Sprinter is very different to what you might fit to a Peugeot Boxer or a Transit. Um, there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach and a lot of companies tend to stick to one type of product that can be fitted to all of the vans but you don't necessarily get the best value for money doing that. Sprinters tend to be stolen quite a lot more than being broken into uh, so it's important to, to protect the ECU so that's, that's like the main brain of the van, what controls the, the engine. Um, and a lot of the other components that are around the van. Um, and also to prevent the catalytic converter, the cat has um, quite a lot of precious metal in it, so they're valuable to, on the scrap market. And a lot of the time, vans are jacked up, the exhaust cut out or the cat's cut out from the middle of the exhaust. Um, when people don't realize, and the, the first thing you realize is you can go and start the van up and it sounds like a tractor. Um, so you can fit something called a cat lock, which, which is a, a, an armoured clamp that goes around the exhaust and it's bolted to the chassis, or chained to the chassis of the van so it can't be stolen. It's a really good deterrent as well, it stops the damage, stops you having to replace the exhaust system. Little micro cam for this. What is it, a Fiat? It's got power, it's got lighting. <laughs> Fiat, what is it? Uh, Fiat Doblo. Yeah, you could sleep in there. So on a Sprinter, your ECU under the bonnet is vulnerable, as is the ignition switch, which you put your key into, the electronic plastic block which your key goes into. So um, this is a really good product. Basically, this goes around where the keyhole is, but it sits underneath the dashboard, so you can't see it day to day. But if someone were to try and pull your ignition switch out, they'd take the dashboard off and see it and, and not be able to. These are shear bolts. so when you tighten them, these heads snap off. So the only way that they can be taken off is by actually drilling them out. Mm. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so that'll go on, that'll be hidden. This is a cage that goes down over the ECU. And again, that's bolted in and the bolts snap off there. So you're, they can't pull your, pull your ECU out either. Um, and this is, this is a cat lock. So this is a clamp basically. It goes around the exhaust, got a catalytic motor on the exhaust bolted up with, with again some, uh, some shear bolts, slightly bigger ones, and those heads snap off, it just leaves this round part. With security the best thing is layers, so you'll, you'll want some, some physical security, uh, whether that's shielding to the van or whether that's protecting the ECU with like an arm, uh, a, a clamp with shear bolts or, or or something like that. But as well as that, think about where you park it. So don't park it in a dark area, put things like, um, you might want to put a parking post in, put some CCTV on the side of the garage so that you can see what's happening to the van at all, ti at all times. 
and also don't put anything on display like so for example tinted windows is a really good idea as well because if people can't see inside then they don't know that your laptop's there so that they're not going to necessarily risk breaking into it if they don't know what reward they're going to get as a result so um yeah i, I suppose in terms of of a sprinter or, or camper vans uh, on a like a wider wider perspective on security think about all, all the aspects not necessarily just securing the vehicle but the area that the vehicle's parked as well Uh, so we cover all of uh, all of England. We, our best coverage is Greater London and the South East, but we do work uh, further north as well, so places like Stoke-on-Trent. We've got coverage down in the West Country as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty much we can we can do anywhere except for kind of Scotland and deepest Wales. Sorry, Scots. <laughs> Maybe next year. <laughs> So I definitely have more peace of mind knowing that I have added a few extra security measures to my van. Um, the ECU guard, the ignition guard, the exhaust cage, um, all of these are just going to um, help protect my van from getting broken into or from being stolen. Um, as Ben from Van Secure said, it completely depends on your type of van, um, what kind of weaknesses it has. So do your research, um, speak to Ben at Van Secure, he knows his stuff. Um, and yeah, hope you find this helpful and um, I'll see you in the next episode.